The Lady Zips took on their heated rivals Kent State on the road in key Mac play. Cindy King would kick us off with a roll to the basket for two points. Golden Flashes would respond as the pass inside to Jordan Kornick, who puts it up between two Zips defenders. Akron's DeAndre Gibson would send a lightning bolt to the hoop for three, causing storm clouds instead of snow clouds to form in Kent, Ohio, as Hannah Plybon adds to the reigning three parade. You may want to check those weather forecasts, meteorologists. Cinna King would call for the ball inside. The Flashes denied her shot, but Anita Brown would clean up the offensive possession. Akron keeping the game close as Plybon would drive in and float a teardrop into the basket. Kent showing some retaliation as Melanie Stubbs with the jumper inside would keep the game close as we head into halftime to the score 20-21 Akron. Zips emphasizing passing the rock as the ball's long journey around the world ends in a king three. CC Shannon showing strength inside as the flashes keep the game closer. Flashes get a key offensive possession but Gibson with the steal would rev up her engine as she NASCARs her way to the layup. Flash is not showing quit as McKenna Stevens would hit a key jumper and later free throws would give Kent the advantage. However, a king must rally its troops in times of need and Cinna King delivers with only little time left after the shot and would seal the deal as the Zips leave Kent victorious 54-53. Cine King finished with 20 points and 12 rebounds in the contest, while Anita Brown contributed with 14 points and 2 steals. Larissa Larkin was Kent State's leading scorer with 11 points. 